So we all know that Amir Khan is set to face Canelo Alvarez. And a lot of the Khan supporters are now coming out and saying, look, this proves that Khan wasn't actually ducking Kell Brook because he's now taking on a fighter in Canelo who, at least on paper, is more dangerous than Kell Brook. So, so to suggest that he was ducking Brook for all these years is ridiculous and this proves it. Well, actually, no, it doesn't prove it. Because fighters duck other fighters for many different reasons. It doesn't necessarily mean it's out of fear of actually being in the ring with that guy. Do I think that Amir Khan is scared to actually be in the ring with Kell Brook? Absolutely not. Khan has been in the ring with very formidable fighters like Marcus McDonough, Danny Garcia, etc. And he was obviously hunting down fights with Pacquiao and Mayweather. So he's not afraid of actual you know, an actual fight, being in the ring and fighting with Kell Brook. No, he was never afraid of that. What he was afraid of, and the reason why he did duck Kell Brook for the past few years and avoided that fight, despite the fact he was being offered very good money, much better money than he would have got for facing the likes of Algeri, Alexander, uh, Carlos Molina, Julio Diaz, etc. The reason why he avoided Kell Brook is because he was worried about what would happen to his stock as a fighter, his value, his market value as a fighter, if he was to lose to Kell Brook. That's what he was worried about. Because if he beats Brook, Brook is still a fairly unknown entity in the world of boxing. Uh, he's known in the UK, but I mean, he's not even that well known in the UK. Anthony Joshua was more well known than Kell Brook is now. So if Khan was to beat him, people would say, oh yeah, but Brook weren't that good anyway. Who's Brook ever fought apart from Sean Porter? And if he was to lose to Brook, people would say, oh wow, see, Khan lost to Kell Brook. So Khan was always just a fraud at welterweight. He was just beating guys coming up from light welterweight. He was a fraud. Proves that Khan weren't no good. So it was kind of a lose-lose situation for Khan in a certain sense if he would take on Kell Brook. Whereas if he's pursuing fights with Mayover or Pacquiao and he loses those fights, so what? Everybody loses to Mayover and Pacquiao or at least uh, most people lose to Pacquiao in, in that particular case. So losing to either one of those guys wouldn't really hurt Khan's value as a fighter, his stock. And it's the same here with Canelo. Most people expect Khan to lose to Canelo. He's given away a massive amount of natural size. Canelo is a huge, not only junior middleweight, he's also a very big middleweight. And I know this fight's being fought at a catch weight of 155. Still, on the night, Khan is going to be giving away 15, 20 pounds. So, given that fact, people are, say, people are going to say, look, if Khan even goes the distance here, and win some rounds, his stock is going to go up even if he loses. Even if he gets knocked out, people will say, oh, well, you know, Canelo was just too big for him. It's not really going to hurt Khan's stock and his reputation as a fighter getting beat by Canelo the way it would hurt him getting beat by Kell Brook, at least at this stage of Brook's career. And that's why he's taken a, the Canelo fight when he did duck the Kell Brook fight, you know, when Brook wasn't champion, Khan was saying, okay, get a world title and I'll fight you. So Brook got, went and got a world title and Khan was like, okay, maybe I'll fight you now. But in a few weeks or months down the line, Khan was saying, oh, actually, no, nah, you need to fight some better opposition, Kell Brook. I, I, I'm still not going to fight you. So he was always moving the goalposts and changing his mind and contradicting himself when it came to a fight with Kell Brook. And that Brook fight would have generated him, like I say, a hell of a lot more money than fighting the likes of Chris Algieri and Alexander and Julio Diaz and Carlos Molina and those kind of guys. Even uh, Luis Colazzo. But yet, he, he, he took those kind of fights and avoided Kell Brook for the reasons that I've mentioned. It's not that he was physically scared of getting in the ring with Brook, but he was frightened of damaging his market value as a fighter if he would lose to Kell Brook. Even if he beat Kell Brook, but it was a tough fight. 
and Khan was on the floor and, you know, maybe got up and won the fight on points, he'd still receive a lot of criticism. People would say, oh, well, Sean Porter didn't get hurt like that against Kel Brook. <laughs> you know? So I guess Khan just saw it as a lose-lose situation against Brook. Yeah, he'd make a lot of money, but in terms of enhancing his reputation as a fighter, enhancing his market value and his stock, what is there to gain from fighting Kel Brook? So it was a duck, definitely. De definitely duck, Brook. But ultimately, uh, it was a good decision, a good business decision to avoid Brook and take on Canelo. Because he can come again after losing to Canelo. And I do believe he will lose, by the way. This ain't my prediction video, but I do believe he'll lose to Canelo. I can't see Khan beating him. Khan has the speed and the athleticism and the work rate to give Canelo problems. There may even be a, a scenario, to me it's not beyond the realms of possibility, there may even be a scenario where Amir Khan actually outboxes uh, Canelo and goes 12 rounds. But in order to outbox Canelo, <clears throat> he's going to be have, he's gonna have to stay away, be on the back foot and fight a pretty negative fight. If he engages Canelo at all, I'm telling you, Canelo's got pretty good timing too. Not just Danny Garcia, no. Canelo's got good timing. He's a good counter puncher. If he, if he stands still for too long, for a split second too long against Canelo, he'll get his head taken off. So he's going to have to fight a very negative fight, similar to the fight that Eris Landy Lara fought. But Lara is bigger and stronger than Khan. He's got longer arms. He hits much harder than Khan. And he's a southpaw. Yet he struggled to keep Canelo Alvarez off of him. Laura was literally running around the ring to keep Canelo off of him. That's a guy that's bigger and stronger than Khan and hits harder than him and is more defensively blessed. And as you saw in that fight, they did not give Eris Landy Laura the decision fighting so negatively. And I can't see them giving Khan the decision fighting so negatively either. People are talking about, well, don't you think that Uncle Al will stop you know, like let's say, because to me there is a plausible scenario where it goes the distance and Khan maybe in a lot of people's eyes deserves deserves to get the victory on points. There are people saying, don't you think that Uncle Al will prevent Khan getting robbed? Because if you look at Canelo's career, he's got many debatable decisions, right? Several debatable decisions. The Austin Trout decision was debatable. Personally, I felt that Trout won. The Lara decision was debatable, although I personally felt Canelo won that fight. The Miguel Cotto decision was debatable. I thought the scorecards were ridiculous. I did have Canelo winning. I think I had him winning by one round, but the scorecards were absurd. And obviously, even against Floyd Mayweather, one of the judges had it, had it a draw. Unbelievable. And one of the other judges, I think they only had it for... Mayweather by four rounds. So Canelo is one of the darlings of the boxing establishment, particularly with the WBC. It's very difficult to get a decision against Canelo, particularly if you're fighting on the back foot. So I can't see Khan getting a decision, even if he deserves one. And if he tries to step it up and really put a beating on Canelo, I think he'll get caught. <laughs> you know, if he manages to win the fight and he proves me wrong, good on him. I like Khan. But personally, I can't see it. Even if it goes a distance and he deserves a victory, I can't see him getting one on the cards. And if Canelo, you know, Canelo's not really a pressure fighter. That's something that Virgil Hunter has said. But in the uh, Eris Landy Lara fight, Canelo did at least to my eyes, show an improved ability to apply pressure and cut off the ring. I thought he was much more aggressive and much for much more of a pressure fight against Lara than I've ever seen him fight before. And as I say, Lara is bigger and stronger and slicker than Amir Khan. And he's a southpaw. And even he had to literally run around the ring to avoid getting hit clean. If Canelo decides to employ those sort of tactics against Khan, where he's constantly pressuring him and throwing all this stuff to the body. And I can't see Khan surviving. If the fight goes 12 rounds, it's going to have to be a situation where Canelo is fighting more conservatively. 
kind of like the way he fought against uh, Miguel Cotto, where he was stalking, but he wasn't really ap applying uh, serious pressure. If it's that kind of fight, yeah, I could see Khan going a distance. But if he's really, really coming at Khan, like the way he was coming at Lara, I don't see Khan surviving. I see him getting taken out. <coughs> anyway, I'm going to end this video right here. Drop your comments in the comment section below. I'd like to hear from the Khan fans. I know some of them, <coughs> excuse me, some of them believe that I've got some type of hatred of Amir Khan. They always seem to think that I'm... Uh, inadvertently criticizing him, slyly criticizing him. I don't do none of that. If I've got a criticism of a fighter, I come straight out and say it. I don't have to beat around the bush and pretend that I like a fighter when I don't really like him. I don't do that. I like Amir Khan. That's not no bullshit. I do like him. I found him a very entertaining fighter over the years in the ring and out of the ring. He's shown tremendous bravery. He's taken on good quality opposition. So I like Amir Khan. Yeah? Don't, don't get it confused. If I'm critiquing any fighter, it's not in an unfair, unjust manner. You know, no fighter is below praise and no fighter is above criticism. That's my motto in this channel and I'm going to stick to that. So I'd like to hear from you, Khan, guys, but please lay off all this stuff where you think like I'm... <coughs> Damn, excuse me. <clears throat> where you think I'm, you know, targeting Khan unfairly. I'm not. I'm just being objective. Okay? That's all. So, yeah, drop your comments in the comment section below. It's your boy Hatman, I'm out.